Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. And folks, I'm going to show you something I don't get every day. This is a 2003 Holiday Rambler Ambassador, uh, 300 horsepower Cummins rear engine diesel, only 30 feet long, folks. This is a Model 30 PBD. This is the shortest motorhome that Holiday Rambler makes in a diesel. So if you're looking for a small motor home and a diesel, this is as small as you're going to get and get the amenities I'm about to, I'm about to list for you. Uh, this unit's got 28,000 miles, folks. That's it. 300 horsepower ISB Cummins diesel. Got the uh, Allison transmission. It's got the 7,500 Onan diesel RV generator that runs great. Folks, this is a smaller motor home than most cl used Class C's on the market. And this is a rear engine diesel Class A. Got the Roadmaster chassis, got the airbags and air suspension, the R4RR chassis. So it's going to have a great ride to it. And I'm going to tell you folks, they put that same motor in these big 40 plus footers and they'll run 75, 80 miles an hour. So you can imagine what this little motor home will do with that same motor. Two slide outs. Uh, that's pretty unusual for this size too. Full basement storage. Now folks, we haven't washed it or anything. So just came in, I wanted to post it online because you don't see these small ones like this very often. Most diesels you look at are 35, 36 foot to, to 45 foot. So to find one that's only 30 foot long is not something that we get in every day. And what's really unusual about it is the low mileage. Uh, most smaller motorhomes are so easy to use, people use them a lot more, so hence you've got more miles. But to find a small one like this with only 28,000 miles is very, very unusual. Got the awning topper on this one slide over here. It's uh, it's got the 2,000 watt inverter. It's got the 7,500 Onan diesel generator, 300 horsepower Cummins, Roadmaster chassis, all fiberglass exterior, including a no maintenance fiberglass roof. Got the LumaGuard patio awning, got the optional door awning as well. And we're gonna make sure all that works great. Folks, we give you up to 138 point inspection by our certified RV techs to be completed after purchase. And until the end of 2016, if this is purchased before the end of 2016, which I'm sure it will be, it's going to include a 90-day nationwide limited warranty. But now if you buy this thing after January 1st, it's no longer eligible for that warranty. That's 03 is the cutoff here. But folks, which I have no doubt this thing probably won't be here two weeks from now, much less two months. But, you know, it's getting that time of year. I got to kind of point that out. I uh, got the power steps. Really nice interior. Let's take a look inside. Folks, as we step inside, I promise you, you this has got a great layout for just a 30-foot motorhome. Shorter than most Class C's. And you've got a rear-engine diesel Class A. And the benefit of that diesel is you've got a motorhome you can virtually never wear out. Look at these transfer trucks hauling 70, 60,000 pounds with a million miles on a running Cummins diesel engines. And this one right here, folks, um, got a great layout for a small motorhome. Here in the front, you've got air brakes. It's got the four-speed Allison. It's got the uh, the hydraulic leveling jacks, rear view camera system. It's got TV. Up here is all your electronics. Like I said, it includes the um, inverter, the Xantrix inverter, which I've got running right now. Everything's working great. The air conditioner is ice cold. I don't even have it turned down all the way, folks. And this little bit of area, folks, you're not going to need much air to keep it cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down. Uh, of course, system heat. You've got the dual water heater that can run off gas or electric. Uh, you've got a privacy curtain. You've got leather captain's chairs that swivel for party seating. Carpets look new. This thing runs and drives great. We just drove it up here from South Georgia. About 300 miles, 250, 300 miles. It did great, and we towed a little car behind it. 
Uh, we got a little Honda Element that we towed behind it. Did great. Uh, plenty of power. That 300 horse engine, this little motor home folks will run 80 miles an hour or, or more. Hey, it wouldn't surprise me if this motor home run 90 miles an hour if you want to take something this big that fast. But, but it's got all the power and, and more that you could ever want. Uh, this is a six sleeper. You've got the table that makes a bed. Uh, directly across from that, you've got a leather pull-out sleeper sofa. It's got day-night shades, hard, real hardwood cabinets, padded headliner that really helps insulate your coach and helps reduce road noise. You can see how thick the roof is, 10-inch thick roof, which Holiday Rambler, I believe it's a nine-layer roof, if I'm not mistaken, that Holiday Rambler uses. Real famous for that. Folks, Holiday Rambler has been around for over 60 years they're kind of what we call the Toyota of motorhomes because the Holiday Rambler brand is the brand that other manufacturers compare their luxury RVs to and have for decades. And anybody who's been around RVs, especially somebody like me who's been around them over 20 years, Holiday Rambler is just kind of the definitive luxury brand that you think of when you think of a, of a nice motorhome. You've got the two-way nor cold RV refrigerator freezer. You've got real Corian countertops. Like I said, that air conditioner, ice cold. Um, got that cool jet off. Plenty of fluorescent lighting. I mean, you really got a lot of uh, nice features. You've got a nor cold two-way RV refrigerator freezer, and I'll show you it works. Now, I haven't had it on maybe, it's been on about two hours, negative eight degrees, and, and it takes these things a few hours to get to operating temp, especially in the refrigerator, but you can see it's clean, and it's actually cooling off really fast. Um, we're already into the 40s in the fridge, so obviously it works, and we're going to check this thing too on gas and electric operation. Uh, my certified RV techs will perform up to 138 point inspection, which is a very, very extensive checklist. It's a lot more things than even those of you who've had RVs for years. If you sat down with a piece of paper and a pen, you probably couldn't come up with as many things to check out on one as we check out automatically. And of course, if you would like a copy of that checkout sheet, just contact one of our non-commissioned salespeople. They'd be more than happy to email or fax you a copy of our standard checkout. Um, now, I say up to 138 points because it's obvious different motorhomes have different equipment. Uh, so, you know, this one doesn't have a washer and dryer. So, obviously, you take two or three of those uh, things you check off that list and things like that. But you'll get a really good idea how extensively we check these things out. When you've been doing this almost half a century like we have, folks, and you've got certified RV techs that you spend a lot of money to keep on payroll because they do the best jobs of anybody, you know, our customers expect the best, and they expect it for less, and that's exactly what we do, folks. We're going to walk through here. I like the, now this is a linoleum floor, but it looks great. Of course, you've got a privacy right curtain right here. You've got shower. It's got the stand-up shower, skylight. There's no water marks or stains. They've obviously kept this thing serviced. Yeah, I mean, I. it's just got 28,000 miles, folks. Look at the stickers. And that's a really good sign of how much a shower has been used because as those stickers get wet, they'll peel off. And all, even the stickers on the faucet are still in good shape. So I don't think this thing's had more than a few showers taken in it. Uh, you got the Corian countertops in here. Holiday Rambler uses nice mowing faucets. They don't use the cheap RV faucets. Private water closet, porcelain RV toilet. Vent fan. I'm going to tell you, um, man, this is a nice motorhome. And got a great layout. I mean, I know a lot of people get intimidated by driving a 35, 36 foot motorhome, but you like the idea of a diesel because of the reliability and the longevity. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. A 30-foot motorhome with a 300-horse Cummins rear diesel that uh, with 28,000 miles, two slide-outs. And you can see the closets in the slide-outs. got the TV on the swivel, Queen Island bed, original factory bed covers that match everything. I mean, this is a 
I know it's an 03 model, folks, but it's a nice 03. And it's got the warranty, it's got the inspection. Air conditioner's cold. Um, I'll show you real quick. You can see I'm sitting here and I just turned the cool to cool jet off, so it now it's just now getting all the air vented to the rest of it, and we're at low 20s. That's cold, folks. I don't know uh, how cold you want you like your motorhome to be, but this little bit of a square footage area and that big 15,000 BTU air, you're not going to be lacking for uh, cooling capacity. Let's just say that. Dash looks good, cockpit looks good. 30 PBD, if you want to look it up, this unit includes a warranty, includes the inspection. It's only $49.9, folks, and these are very hard to find. You'll find 20 35 to 45 foot Class A's for every one 30 footer you find, if not more. And especially, a, and, and how hard is it to find these small motor homes with low miles? Most of these smaller ones, people use these for day trips, weekend trips. They run the wheels off of them. I've, I've seen these small motor homes with over 200,000 miles on them because people use them a lot more because they're so much easier to use than the big ones. 30 foot long, sleep six, 28,000 miles, warranty, inspection, all of that for only $49.9 out the door. It's no other fees, folks, besides sales tax. And you only pay sales tax when you're a Georgia buyer since we're a Georgia dealer. All out, of pay, all out of state sales tax, you do have to pay your tax, but you pay it when you title this RV in your home state or uh, at your local DMV office. And you do get a 45 day drive out tag from Parkway RV Center, good anywhere in the country. Now, every state's different. I, I wanna point this out. Um, Georgia, you've got it for 45 days before you gotta title it. Some states are 14 days, some states are 30, 60, uh, 90 days it just depends on your state so you want to make sure you're familiar with how long you can go uh, without paying your tax before you actually do it because I don't want anybody to get a penalty or get in trouble but in the state of Georgia you do have up to 45 days if you have to title an RV and you do get a 45 day drive out tag from us no matter what state you live in so uh, you always want to make sure your state's laws on that because like I said I don't want to see somebody get a penalty because uh you know, they were supposed to title it in 14 days, and they didn't. They wanted to hold out on paying the tax for a few extra weeks, and you had to pay the price. But other than that, folks, we have no extra fee. You know these other dealers you go to, you know, they may advertise a motor home for $49.9, but I promise you, folks, their advertised price and what you pay before you walk out of there are two totally different prices. These other dealers have learned this scam from the car dealers. Uh, except they made it 10, 15 times worse. And it's the fee scam. And what it is, when you go to these other dealerships, folks, you always want to insist on out-the-door price before you decide on whether you're going to buy an RV or not because that's the only way you really know what you're paying for one. And what I mean by that, they'll advertise one for $49.9 like we do. But boy, that's where we stop. You go to another dealer and you they start adding on the fees, freight fees. Tag fees, title fees, prep fees, processing fees, dock fees. If you want that warranty, we give it to you for the $49.9 price. They're going to charge you a few thousand dollars for it. That inspection, again, they're going to charge you for that too. And suddenly that price that they advertise for $49.9 suddenly turns to close to $60,000 before you even add sales tax. And it's a scam, folks. All those fees they charge you are 100% dealer profit. They're 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or even a brand spanking new motorhome. Don't fall victim to them. They get, they get people with it every single day. And it's not like the car dealers where it's just a few hundred dollars for a dock fee. I, they literally charge you six, seven, eight thousand $8,000 in fees, some dealers do. A uh, dealer up the street advertises brand new campers for $99.95. I'm not going to mention no names, but they sponsor NASCAR. They're the biggest corporate dealer in the United States. They've got two, 300 locations nationwide. They'll advertise it for $99.95 for a little small 15, 16 foot camper. But by the time they start adding all their fees, it turns into $17,000. And that's before sales tax by the time they add all their Mickey Mouse fees. 
and all those fees are 100% dealer profit. I, I get customers that come in every week looking at our little campers that went up to that other dealership and got sticker shock when they found out what the out the door price is. And, and the one we told them all of our prices are out the door and we saved them about half of that. I think you're starting to see why we sell five to 600 used RVs a year. Folks, we've been in business 48 years, three generations. We're one of the oldest. Uh, we're one of the largest and most successful independently owned, family run, used RV dealerships in the United States. 170 plus used RVs in stock. More than any other dealer within a 500 mile radius of Ringo, Georgia. Uh, we have out the door pricing, the lowest prices on the internet. We have no extra fees. Financing with rates as low as 3% with approved credit and extended terms available up to 180 months. Again, with approved credit. We don't mark interest rates up. Other dealers will double your rate over what the bank approves you for. And that's why you couldn't even buy this thing brand new at a cost of $150,000 and get a rate as low as we can get you on a used one because the new dealers mark their rates up, costing you thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan. But we believe in offering financing to our customers as a courtesy, not as a way to exploit them and rip them off. Another way we save you a lot of money, we don't use commission salespeople. And folks, that is absolutely huge. Don't you hate trying to buy a major purchase like this and have to deal with a pushy salesperson who won't leave you alone, won't even let you go on the lot and look without getting pre-qualified or going through a sales office. And the whole time they're talking to you, they're trying to sell you everything you're looking at, even if you're not interested in it. Folks, that's a commission salesperson. And you won't believe, it, it's, it's an first of all, it's an antique way of, of paying anybody a commission is. And you won't believe how many thousands of dollars extra it costs you to buy from a commission salesperson. I'll tell you why. Dealerships use commission salespeople because it allows them to keep a large sales staff on hand at any given time and it doesn't cost them any more to keep 50 salespeople as it does to keep five. So of course they're going to keep as many people as possible on staff. And you may wonder, how do they get so many salespeople to work there? Well, it's simple, folks. They promise them high rewards. The average commission rate of an RV salesperson is 25% of the gross profit. And when you've got these big corporate dealers making $10,000, $15,000 profit on every deal, 25% of that is a chunk of change, let me tell you. And they also reward their salespeople and by giving them extra commission when there's extra profit made. In other words, if they get over $10,000 profit, they get 30% commission instead of 25%. So basically, they're, the dealerships are rewarding their commission salespeople for ripping you off. And not only that, folks, but it costs you thousands of dollars extra to buy one like that because that particular dealer has to mark their prices up an additional 25% to cover their salesperson's commission. They're not paying their salespeople. You're paying them by paying thousands more for the same RV you can buy here for thousands less just because they use commission salespeople and we don't. Now, folks, most lots our size, I'll be honest with you, have 35, 40 salespeople. We have three. Our salespeople don't make commission. There's no sales pressure. There's no games. There's no gimmicks because my guys get paid the same whether you buy this motor home or buy one somewhere else. It doesn't matter to them as far as their paycheck's concerned. Granted, we're a lot different than other RV dealers, especially in this area because we're the only lot in the area that you can come out, you can put, drive anywhere on the lot. You don't have to go through a sales office. You don't have to go through a, a big, tall, eight-foot barbed wire top chain link fence that's locked in that you have to have a salesperson there with a key to let you in the gate. You can park anywhere. You can look at all of our RVs. Most of them have the price on the windshield. I just hadn't got around to pricing this one yet. And you can look at your own leisure. You know, and what we do, folks, we're different. We don't come out there. We don't bother you. We don't uh, harass you. We let you look, folks. We would rather you come to us when you have any questions or are ready to buy instead of us coming out to you. So what we ask you to do, and most of my customers that come on the lot know this, they can come look at their own leisure, make themselves at home, 
If they have any questions, duck inside the showroom, get one of my non-commissioned salespeople. No pressure, they'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have, and if you want to buy an RV, of course, they're more than happy to sell it to you. We're not going to come out here and puppy dog you around from like these other places do that absolutely drive you crazy because my guys, well, for, quite honestly, they don't have time for that. Plus, they don't get paid commission, so it, it's a win-win for everybody. Now, I know I get a complaint every once in a while from somebody that comes out here and looks and says nobody ever waits on them. But I've got even got it in writing in every RV out here how we operate. You know, we I have it I have it on a piece of paper on every table, and um, that's the way 99% of our customers prefer it. Now, of course, you know you deal with as many customers as we do. You can't make everybody happy. There's always that one percent that wants to complain about it. And uh, because they didn't get waited on, but folks, I promise you, all you have to do is come into the sales office when you have a question, and one of my salespeople will help you. Keep in mind, I have three salespeople today. I think we've had over a hundred carloads of customers on the lot today, Saturday, um, and so it's it's hard for them to get to everybody, and you may have to wait. Now, if you are one of the one percent that likes to have somebody follow you around and pressure you and all that stuff call ahead make an appointment with one of my non-commissioned salespeople they will be more than happy to accommodate you they don't like to do that but they're more than happy to accommodate you to make you happy but you need to call ahead and make an appointment because my guys sell two or three rvs a piece every single day and they they just don't to uh, they don't have time to follow everybody on the lot and i wish they did but they don't and so i always ask that you call ahead make an appointment if you want one-on-one -on -one service with our salespeople. if you just want to come look you know everybody here is an adult you know we don't have to put a gun to your head to make you to buy to make you buy an rv like these other places do or i should say the figurative gun to your head but so come down, look around. There's no obligation. You can look as much as you want. Keep in mind, we sell 15 to 20 RVs a week, and our inventory completely changes every 90 days. So if you come out here one month, look around, don't see what you're looking for. You come back three or four weeks later, you're going to see almost an entirely different inventory than what you saw the first time. That's because we have the lowest prices on the Internet. We're a high-volume dealer. We're family-owned and operated. We've sold generations of families, RVs, all over the United States and beyond. We've sold customers from all 50 states. We've sold over 2,000 RVs, campers, fifth wheels all over Canada. We've sent well over 30 overseas to England, Italy, Australia, the Netherlands, and other countries. And the reason why people came thousands of miles to buy from us is simple. The way we do business and the fact that we've got the lowest prices on the internet. 28,000 miles, 30 foot, small diesel class A, Holiday Rambler Ambassador 30 PBD. Doesn't get much better than this for under $50,000, folks, especially for those of you wanting a small, easy to drive and park motorhome. Folks, I've got class B pluses out here that are longer than this 30 foot class A. So give us a call, drop us an email at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Uh, you can call us 706-965-7929 in evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. This unit's going on eBay plus about 20 other different websites. Uh, we're certified power sellers on eBay's with hundreds of positive feedbacks from selling people RVs from all over the country. Um, so this unit's going to be sold quick. Check out our website, parkwayrvcenter.com or .net. Units are added to it every day. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Folks, there is no lack of ways to keep in contact with us in this day and age, folks. Believe me. Social media technology has pretty much took over and the Internet has taken over all advertising. I mean, it's crazy. There's just so many ways to keep in touch with us, to keep up with what we have come in. And you're also more than welcome to call one of my non-commissioned salespeople. Get to know them. Let them get to know you. Let them get to know what you're looking for, your price range. And they're more than happy to call you when the one comes in. And chances are, I don't care what you're looking for, I'll probably get one in eventually. And at a price that you won't believe is so low. 
Thank you for watching my video. I know it's been a long one, folks. I really think you're going to like this Ambassador. It's 28,000 miles. It's 30 foot long. State parks, older campgrounds, this is a perfect motor home for that because you can, you can park at pretty much any camp spot. Got the leveling jacks, two slides, ice cold air, diesel generator. You know, a lot of these smaller ones like this have propane generators, but this is a diesel big engine for this size motor home it's got the allison transmission it's got all the right equipment folks it's a great brand uh, aluminum frame steel cage in the front i forgot to mention that it's got a steel cage in the front in case you ever do get in an accident holiday ramblers known for that and they're also known for their aluminum frame which they were the first company to invent the aluminum frame way back in the late 70s um like i said fiber nine layer fiberglass roof and so much more Great brand, great quality, great price. Thank you for watching. We offer nationwide delivery. Uh, we deliver anywhere in the United States. If you want to fly in like many of our customers do, we'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport during business hours, bring you back here, do some paperwork, do a demonstration with one of our certified RV techs, and you hit the road and, and enjoy your ride back. I have four or five customers that fly in a week from all over the country to buy RVs from us because of our prices. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.